Okay, so picking up where we left off in the last video, we're going to add the specific buttons to the project now. So I want you to add a new item, a class, and we'll call it back layer button. Okay, spelt that wrong. Back layer button. All right, so we need some using statements, and the only ones we really need are. XNA framework and graphics and also what I need you to do to this class is to make it public. I'm not sure if I did that to the button class in the last video. Oh I did, that's good. We want to inherit from that button class, so let's do that. Then we need to declare an instance variable to find out whether it's been clicked. Alright, all these buttons are going to have the same uh, the same idea to them. They're pretty much going to be identical. In fact, they are going to be identical apart from their constructors. So, let's make the constructor for this. It needs to take a texture. We'll call it texture and a vector which we will call position great so now we construct the base element of it with texture and position we want to override the update so we use override this will override the update function in the actual um, base class so we, all, all we want to do is make clicked equal to base dot clicked alright now the, only, the last method in this will be a public override for effect ok and in here it's going to be to do because we're not finished event for the button update clicked constructor ok so that looks good to me <coughs> so we have seven of these buttons to add um, I'm going to do another one here just to show you the general idea of what we need to do. Call this one collision there button. If I could type. We want to inherit from button again. Get our using statements. Make the class public. And then copy and paste this in. And that's it apart from changing this. Okay so there's no point in you watching me do this for all seven buttons so we're just gonna skip ahead here head here and I'll show you what I've done in a second. Okay, so it took me about five minutes there to just uh, copy over uh, into the new files the the code from the old ones. And these are the buttons that I ended up with. I ended up with one for back layer button, which you saw me do. Collision layer button, which you saw me do. I also have front layer button load map button, load tile button, new map button and save map button. Now those are all exactly the same as those first two ones that you saw me do. All I did was copy, copy over the using statements, make the class public, inherit from button, then copy the body of it and change the constructor name to the class name. That's all I did. 
um, I'll probably put a wee uh, screen in here when I'm editing just to show you all the buttons and to give you a reminder of what to do there. So, uh, one thing that I did want to do in the game one class that I actually forgot to do earlier on, or in the first video, is um, make the mouse visible and uh, change the dimensions of the window. Which is always handy to do. So this that is most visible equals true. Makes you able to see the mouse and set the window size. So that's graphics dot uh, preferred back buffer height equals 700 graphics dot preferred back buffer width equals 800 and now we want to apply those changes so it's graphics dot apply changes okay good so let's see if that worked occupies nicely, the window's a bit bigger and you can see the mouse. Brilliant. So what we want to do now is add a class called uh, called the HUD and this is actually going to be the container for the buttons in the uh, GUI. So we need some using statements and the using statements that we need are framework content, input, and graphics. So we also want to make this a public class. Alright, and um, we can just go back to the game one class there for two seconds. There's actually one more thing that I want you to change, and that is I want you to create a public static vector, public static vector 2 to contain the client bounds because we need uh, a reference to how big the actual window is so we're just going to do that very quickly so um, declare the client bounds ok so it's going to be public static like type vector 2 client bounds and we're going to initialize that down here. Okay, so down here we're going to go client bounds equals new vector2. We want that to be zero and we want this to be window. We access this through the window object window dot client bounds dot height and that will give us the uh, oh sorry that's the wrong thing that should be window dot client bounds dot width here and that gives us the dimensions of the window and in the next video I will show you how to um, implement the HUD class and we'll get the GUI finished completely and have it running and you'll be, that'll be the first real thing you'll, you'll have seen in the application so far so stay tuned <laughs>